what's going on guys, it's Aaron Warren back again, trying to keep my promise of giving you regular uploads every week or every other week. This is the second week, and what is flying outside? You hear that? Did you hear that? You should. That is the sound of America. No, but seriously guys, I'm going to talk to you guys today about how to get your degree in the Air Force, or what you have to do in order to receive your degree, how to pursue it, so on and so forth. So, um, what I'm going to do for this video, I'm trying to keep it more interesting, is I'm gonna walk around, and I'm gonna go outside, we're gonna go out, or we're gonna go for a little drive, you know, things like that. I'm gonna try and position my phone to like, set up when I go drive, but don't be surprised if it doesn't work, because where I am, they don't allow like those little phone things you put on your windshield, so. Yeah, okay, so. Car keys and stuff. Left my computer on. Not like it matters if we got very long. Okay. Let's see where we're gonna go. Usually I just get in my car and just drive random places because I have no real life and no real friends. Oh god. Yeah, so there's no way that's gonna work. But uh, so, how do you get your degree in the Air Force? Or what is it expected of you if you, like me, don't have your degree when joining the Air Force? So, what people don't understand is that when you join and get through a basic, you can't just immediately pursue the degree that you wanna pursue. So, at least in the Air Force, this is how it is. Now, I don't say I like this method, but it is what it is. So, you will go through, and then when you go to tech school, you can take CLEPS, to finish your CCAF, Community College of the Air Force degree. Or, I believe, if I will see if I'm wrong here, you can do it for your other degree too, but I'm pretty sure in tech school, they only want you to do it for your CCAF. So you'll start to take uh, CLEPS. Now CLEPS only, well in tech school, you cannot take full-blown classes because you have not, you're still in training, and you haven't finished your uh, CDCs yet. So after you graduate tech school, go to your first operational base, and then you'll get your CDCs issued to you. Now, however many issues there are, there's so many different versions for every different AFSC. I can't tell you how long they are, how long they might be. I can't tell you because every AFSC is different. When you get there and you finally finish your CDCs, then you can put in and start taking classes, which will be useful through the assistance of uh, TA, tuition assistance, which your command has to sign off on. I think basically it just requires your supervisor and possibly the first order commander, but I could be wrong. I haven't done it before, so, mm -hmm. But that is what's expected of you if you want to get your degree. I will leave a link in the article below on how TA really works and what you can actually do flexible with it. You can do online courses, you can do actual college courses if you want, although traditionally speaking, online is much easier if you're a shift worker or just being military in general, it just seems to be easier because it works way more with your schedule as opposed to trying to work with an actual physical class. So that's usually the, the main thing people need to be aware of. And again, this is a shorter video because I want, it's not really that hard of a process. The main thing I want everyone to understand is you cannot pursue the degree you want until you at least get your CCAF and then you can actually look to getting your degrees that you want. Now that's from my experience. Of course, every place is different. Every place has their own way of doing things. But from what I've seen, traditionally speaking, the best way or the usual way they're gonna do it is you cannot get your degree until you have your CCAF, which usually isn't hard. Because from your primary course in tech school, that should give you enough credits to where that course is filled. The only thing you'll need is your base courses, math, science, history, whatever. Those are the main things. If you already have those from a previous degree, then you're pretty much golden. So as long as the degrees, as long as the, as long as the credits are transferable, which they usually are or should be, as long as your college is good, then you really shouldn't have a problem. So yeah, that's really it. Um, and there's gonna be a bunch of other different ways and other things you have to do. But traditionally speaking, the easiest way to get your CCAF, from my experience, from what I've been told, just clip your way through it. Just try and clip your way through it. Study and then clip it. So when you first clips, you get them, uh, the clips and Dante's. Trish, they're basically the exact same thing and they both function the same way. So you pass, you test out of it, you got your credits, you're good. You don't need to take the course. You, you fail, it's okay. First one's free. Next one you have to spend, I think it's anywhere from 90 to to $100 on. I could be wrong, but I know you have to pay for it the second time around. So I would still study. I wouldn't just wing it because you have unlimited tries. You don't have unlimited tries. And yeah, that's pretty much it. New Citrus price is low at fourteen six ninety plus credit approval. Nah. <laughs> I 
heard this in so long. Oh my god. Alright, let's try this. Alright, let's do it. Maybe? I'm trying to wedge it in there. Maybe. Alright. That didn't take long. You know, I totally forgot the fact that I didn't show you guys my new tattoo. Right. Pulled up my sleeve really quickly. And yeah. For anyone who wants to understand or wants to ask about the meaning behind it, I'll leave that as my pinned comment in the uh, in the description. Because I don't want to put it on, on, uh, on video. So, let's go. Oh boy. You know, I just kind of figures that of all days when I actually want to record a video outside, it has to be this windy. All right, guys. Well, I think that pretty much covers my little video slash vlog thing I'm trying to do more of. Again, I'll be more than open to answering any questions in the comments because I know this video is very, it's not very general or specific. The, well, it is general. The main reason why I keep my videos like this is because this is for people, again, who are entering the Air Force and want to have a basic idea of what they're getting this one sent to. So again, remember, you cannot pursue your personal degree, the one you want, that's not your CCF until your CCF is completed, and then you can go off and do what you want to do. Using TA and other resources the Air Force has, there is so many, I can't name them all. But I will try my best to put them in the descriptions, so that way you can actually read more about it, have a better idea, and then, get, and then that'll basically be it. So unless you guys uh, have something else more specific you want to see from me in two more weeks or maybe next week, just let me know. And uh, yeah, it's been Aaron Martin, guys, and I think I'm going to go out here and go eat my fat kid food. And the door was locked because I'm a terrible person. Have a good day, guys.